In this session, we are discussing another problem on linked list. And here we are supposed to calculate and find out the maximum and minimum info of all nodes of a linked list. Okay, now see, calculate maximum and minimum node info of a linked list. So that is our question. And here we have written the respective algorithm. Algorithm linked list max min start. So start is the starting address of the linked list. So now PTR is equal to start. So PTR has got initialized with the address which has been kept in start. Flag is equal to 1. What is the purpose of flag? We shall discuss that one. While PTR is not equal to null. That means we know that PTR will go on advancing. So until PTR is not getting equal to null. That means until the total linked list has not been traversed. We should continue with the while construct. If flag is equal to is equal to 1, yes, initially flag was 1 before entering into the loop. So flag is equal to is equal to 1, this condition will be satisfied. So I am putting unconditionally, I am just updating this max and mean with this PTR info. So PTR implies info has been kept in max as well as mean. I have made flag is equal to 0. And you see throughout this rest part of the program, I never made flag is equal to 1. So that means for the first time only, this part will get executed. In the rest part, in the rest times, only the else part will get executed. Okay. So that means the first nodes info will be the maximum as well as the minimum. Now, in the next iterations, else part will get executed. If max is less than PTR implies info, max will be updated with that value. If min is greater than PTR implies info, then min will be updated by PTR implies info. So that is very common to calculate the maximum minimum. We used to do that one always. And PTR is equal to PTR implies next. Obviously, PTR should get some advancement. And you see, here I have written this one not within this then part or else part, not within this true part or false part. I have written this one within the while construct. So whatever condition is getting true or false, it is irrespective of that. PTR is equal to PTR implies next will go on executing for each and every iteration. So now in this way, the loop will go on executing and it will get terminated when PTR will become is equal to null and then it will exit from this while construct and then print max and min. So max and min will get printed. So if you do the tracing here, it can be traced very easily. So you see PTR is equal to start. So PTR will be pointing to this particular location. So that is my PTR. And then flag is equal to 1. So flag will be 1 here. So I shall go into, into this loop. PTR is equal to null. No, PTR is not equal to null. So flag is equal to 1. Yes, flag is equal to 1. So initialize max and min and make flag is equal to 0. So 100 is the info of the first node. So that will be coming to max and min and flag will be made equal to 0. So it will come out and here this code is always going to get executed. So PTR is equal to PTR next. So PTR will get advancement. So now it will be pointing to this. Now it is checking whether max is less than info PTR or not. No, here info PTR is 52, max is greater than that, but mean is greater than 52. So that's why mean requires updation. So after doing this updations, PTR is equal to PTR next is the common line. So that means it will be coming to this particular part. That means PTR is getting updated with this address and this address is nothing but address of this next node. So now 73. So, so this part cannot get executed because flag has become 0. So it will check with the max and min. So now you see 100 is greater than 73. So max does not require any updation. And 52 is greater than 73 is false. That means 52 is lesser than 73. So 52 will not get updated. The last instruction is PTR is equal to PTR next. So now PTR will be pointing to this particular node. Very simple. And now again it will go for comparison 100 is less than 42 is not true so max is not getting updated 52 is greater than 42 is true so that means 52 must be updated by 42 and now PTR will be pointing to null now PTR will be pointing to null so algorithm will get terminated it will print max and min so it will print 142 and that is the obvious answer in this way this algorithm is getting executed. So whatever this sort of processing type of uh, algorithms, if you have been asked to answer, please go on writing this code in this way. 
maintain the proper indentation, the function nomenclature, the variable nomenclature, indentation, putting the remarks are the good programmers practice. Please have that have those good habits inside you. So thanks for watching this particular video.